today we're going to get some practice drawing leaves realistically. So your first step is to actually find a leaf of any kind, dead or alive. It could be from your yard, it could be from a house plant, or even from some food in your kitchen. And once you've chosen that leaf, here's mine, cute little baby, you need to either bring the leaf to your drawing area or you need to take your paper and pencil to that leaf so that you can see it all the time and you're looking at the plant itself and not a photograph. So if you can't like pick it off the ground or pick it off of the plant, bring your drawing materials to that plant to draw it. My leaf, uh, I don't know what tree it's from, but it's from a small tree that's in my yard and it's like this reddish brownish color but still has hints of green. I can see that it has a really smooth surface texture, but underneath I can see veins. And along its outline, along the edge of the leaf itself, it has these spines. Now that I have my leaf, I can start to draw. The first thing that I'm going to do is draw the large shape, the basic shape that my leaf is. So I'm not paying attention to these spikes yet. I'm not paying attention to this center vein or these smaller veins. I'm just drawing what I see about the same size, although if you draw your leaf larger, it'll end up being easier for you because you'll have more room to maneuver with your details. And as usual, I'm drawing pretty dark but you should draw lighter so that when the time comes to erase what you don't want in your work, it'll be easy to do so. Oops, nice. And then of course I need the stem. All right. So this part might be the most important part of your drawing. You don't have any details yet, but all the details that you're going to draw will be living within this shape that you draw now. So you really have to make sure that you get this shape right. So take as much time on it as you need until you have the shape of your leaf exactly how you want. I don't think it's actually this round. Okay, I feel good. Now I am gonna draw this center vein, this crease, just to help me. I see it kind of goes into the stem and then right down the center of the plant. All right, and don't knock your leaf over. There we go. Now I'm gonna draw the spines so I have the basic shape of my leaf and now I'm going to draw the exact details that I see. With this part also, feel free to go slow. So like mine, as you can see, these spikes are quite tiny. And they get smaller as they get up here. But whatever small texture or small details that you left out when you started, this is what you'll draw at this time. You should also make your pencil sharper than mine. I have been drawing all day and I didn't sharpen my pencil before this tutorial and so it's kind of coming back to bite me now. All right, that looks good. So now I'm going to really lightly and carefully erase to remove my first line. If you use a kneaded eraser, this would be a really good use for it because a kneaded eraser will take lighter lines off without 
taking darker lines without completely erasing darker lines. I'm doing a pretty good job, but I'm gonna have to go back and touch up some places and that's fine. I don't mind, I expected that. Okay, so now I'll touch up. Places where I erased my real lines that I actually wanna keep. Okay, and now I can move on to the second half of the details, which for me is the veins, these little guys. I can see them a lot more clearly on the left because that's where the light is hitting more, so I'm gonna start with them. I can see that they're pretty straight, but they curve a little bit from the center of the leaf out, and that some of them branch out into these X shapes. And they get smaller and follow the curve as it gets high, but there's still little Y shapes. I can't see her quite as well, but that's just because it's in shadow and I'm gonna add the shadow later. So now I'm gonna approximate what the veins on this side look like. I can tell that they follow along with the veins on the left, that they all meet in the center. So that makes it a little bit easier for me to figure out where I need to draw. I've overextended these lines, so I'll erase those and redraw my spikes, like little teeth. Okay. So now I'm ready for shading. That's what's gonna make this leaf look a little bit more three-dimensional and it'll also show the shiny texture because I'm gonna add a highlight in the center. I'm just gonna use smooth shading for this example and I'm gonna start with the cast shadow because I see that because the leaf is not completely flat, it makes this really nice fuzzy shadow on my paper itself. What's weird about this is that this is like the only time where the shadow is darker farther from the object and it's just because of the way the light is hitting it. And it's because this the object is lifted off the, sorry, off the paper. That almost never happens when an object is flat on your surface. Now a dull pencil comes in handy to make this like scratchy texture that I like. There we go. You might want to make your line in the shadow a little bit stronger, like so. And now it's time to shade the leaf itself, finally. That's the last step in this drawing. I see that the shadows on this side of the leaf are darker, and so I'm just gonna quickly pop in a light, even shadow on this side. I know that I have that as a base, I can make it darker in areas that I want to be darker. This is up to the artist's preference, so some people like it one way and some people like it the other, but I find it to be the most useful to start with light shadows and make them darker. It's usually easier to add more pencil than to erase, and so I try not to make my shadows too dark too early. Now I'm gonna give the whole cast shadow another little coat there. But I kinda want it to be lighter right here by the leaf itself because I'm losing definition. I'm losing where we see the difference between the leaf and the paper. So I'm just gonna carefully erase that and redraw it and keep it lighter this time. Which is no big deal, that's why we draw with a pencil, right? All right, I like that much better. Now, this side is 
dark as well because the color of the leaf is dark. So I'm going to add a tiny, tiny bit of gray. But I'm going to stop before I get to the very center because I can see this highlight, which is in the center crease. And I want to leave that intact. And there we go. Mm, nope, I want to make the stem darker. Good. Okay, good catch. There we go. Leaf number one. I'm going to draw leaf number two. Da, da, da. A cute baby as well. But you only need to choose one leaf from anywhere around your house or outside of your house to draw for this assignment. My artists, if you would rather use colored pencils, watercolor, drawing pens, any material that you have available for you, you're welcome to use. I just went with pencil today. But you can add color if you want. You can do what you want with this piece. Please do not just draw the leaves I've just drawn. Please find your own and take a photo of your art and include your leaf if you can. Thank you for watching.